the name of this man? Yes, do you know him? Lech Wałęsa? Lech Wałęsa? No. No, no, no. I don't no. know. No. I don't know, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know. Okay. And do you know her? No. No. Not as well. No? No. Never seen her before. No? No. And no, unfortunately. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. No. No, non plus. Non plus? No, non plus. D'accord. Unlike the Socialists and the Conservatives, the European Greens have put forward two names under a joint candidacy for President of the European Commission. The German Ska Keller and Francis José Bové. We've joined them at a campaign event in the south of France to find out what kind of Europe they stand for. Franziska Ska Keller grew up in the German town of Guben on the Polish border. The French trade unionist José Bové from near Bordeaux is well known for his often militant activism, including the trashing of a French branch of McDonald's in 1999. That action earned him a 44-day prison term in 2002. I've known José Bové for almost 40 years. He's more than able to explain what he does. He's always been like this. I mean, he's always one step ahead of the rest of us. He manages to put people in situations where you feel inclined to follow him. But he really wants to work together with others. José Bové is a friend, and I've come to appreciate him even more since working with him in the parliament for five years. He's a good strategist. He identifies his goals and then works works out the strategies. His strategies can be dialogue, if that works, or they can be a bit more forceful, if that works. In politics, I like strategists, people who fight to advance their ideas, and José is one of my favourites. Keller is the youngest candidate and also the only woman running for president of the commission. I think they're a great couple. Ska, who's still very young, really brings the vigour of youth. She radiates a real confidence and endurance. And then there's the old head, the experienced fighter, José Bové. For many, for the Greens and for people who care about food safety, he's a much appreciated fighter. They know him from when he tried 20, 30 years ago to uproot genetically modified plants, or from when he protested against McDonald's. Ska is young and experienced. So you will say, how can you be young and experienced? Ska was involved in politics uh, since uh, 13, 14. So she has, with her age now, already a 10, 12 year experience. And that makes her a very unique person. And the other characteristic is she has a lot of positive energy so she's a bright personality and she's sharp in the same moment. Unlike the other main parties, the Greens chose their candidates through US-style primaries across Europe. This is new ground in EU elections. <laughs> While Ska Keller doesn't have Bove's reputation or high profile, she brings a youthful option to the elections and discussions about Europe's future. Both argue that globalization is unfair for Bove, one of the main issues is finding a European response to climate change. Keller has refugee and migrants' rights as a top priority. I think the refugee rights really go to the heart of the European Union. A society is only as good as the extent to which it takes care of people who need protection and have no voice. The European Union is pursuing a futile policy of isolation, trying to keep immigrants and refugees out. But we promised them protection. We've signed the Geneva Convention. 
Convention. It's our obligation to help people who seek protection. And we must implement this concretely, not just at our borders, but also within the European Union. For me, one of the most important issues will be the climate crisis, the ability to find answers, to invest at a European level, to manage the energy transition, to move away from carbon-based energy. If not, the consequences for the people of Europe will be absolutely dramatic, so we do need European responses, and it's only at a European level that we can respond to this crisis. Keller could be considered a moderate voice to Jose Bové's more radical green approach. They might balance each other in this respect, but do French and German Greens share the same vision? We do not have the same history, but today, after 30 years, the French and German Greens have, in fact, the same strategies. They're both radical in their thinking, at the same time, they're very pragmatic in their actions. Realistically, neither expects to land the Commission presidency, as the Greens will be doing extremely well to win even a senior post on the EU executive. But they hope to push green issues higher up the election agenda, and they share a vision on Europe's future. We defend values of European citizenship and fundamental rights. Democracy must be at a European level. And for economic solutions, budgetary solutions, we need true European policies. In fact, today there's only one solution, a federal Europe. For me, the dream of Europe is also the idea that no one will fall through the net, that no one will be on their knees, that there'll always be solidarity and a helping hand. We must defend those values of solidarity we already possess. Two candidates in harmony, but in a time of economic crisis and rising Euro scepticism, it's far from clear how in tune voters will be with the green issues this joint candidacy aims to promote in the campaign.